Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the sheet masks that I use for the month of June. And I have quite a few that I used. Um, my goal was to use a sheet mask every single day for the month of June. And I did that and I kind of exceeded that because I did use um, 34 sheet masks. So there was only 30 days in the month of June. So um, there were some days that I did, I got a hair, <laughs> that I did um, two masks in one day, morning and evening. So anyway, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll start with the, um, the eye mask that I used. I had two from number seven the brand number seven and I had the instant results revitalizing hydrogel eye mask and I did like these but I think um, I would look for some that were a little bit more hydrating for under the eyes when I get ready to do my repurchase of um, sheet masks so but I did finish these and I'm pretty sure, I think these were actually sent to me through Otley a while back. But anyway, I did finish those. And then I had another one of these Wish Trend <laughs> um, Panda Eye Essence Mask. I did not like these, and um, I would definitely not repurchase these at all. So, and I'm pretty sure that this is my last one, my absolute last one. I'm pretty sure. Then I had the V2 um, O2M Aqua oxygen eye mask and this is an eye mask for all night this is supposed to be designed to where you could put this on and wear it all night long um, it sticks to their under eyes and it's designed to wear it all night I don't like wearing it all night I felt like it really dried out underneath the eye I mean it stayed on that was for sure but um, I don't recommend it to wear it all night I would just wear it for 20 to 30 minutes, but even then I didn't really feel like it was all that hydrating, so I wouldn't purchase those. I'm pretty sure that was sent to me for review also. And then I did um, use up two of my 23 years old rose gold um, mask. I had two of these, and these are the ones that I have that um, go all the way from here down to about here on me and I like these I like the scent of them I like the essence of them the sheet itself is very thick um, it covers the entire face and like I said it kind of goes down to here so you get some neck treatment with it the only thing I don't like about it is that it does not have a mouth hole and I am a mouth breather so I feel like I'm suffocating if I have this on so I do have to cut a mouth hole into it um, or so I can't breathe because I breathe through my mouth but I do like these and I would definitely consider repurchasing these whenever I run out I have some more that I'm going to be using up this month for July but I do enjoy using these I feel like they're very hydrating and um, I do enjoy the essence in them they're a very thick mask um, trying to see what it says on here that it's supposed to do it has rose fruit oil and gold in it I don't know I just know it's very hydrating and that I enjoy using it um, other than the part that that doesn't have a mouth hole in it anyway but it's an easy fix and then from Papa recipe I finished up my um, fruitables that I had from Papa Recipe that was sent to me through Atelier. And I had the Green Squeeze Relaxing Mask, the Purple Squeeze Lifting Mask, the Orange Squeeze Energy Mask, and the Yellow Squeeze Brightening Mask. Um, recommend any of these. These were all wonderful. The Papa Recipe is a wonderful brand. Um, so you can get these on Hotlook. Um, you can find them at Nordstrom Rack. Can't go wrong with Papa Recipe. And these were some of the newest ones that they had just came out with. And um, they're from the line self um, sheet. I felt like they're a, a little bit of a thinner sheet. 
and they were triple folded in here had a lot of um, essence in it left them on for about 30 minutes did not dry out there was enough juice in there to leave it on for that long um, enjoyed every single one that I had and would definitely consider repurchasing those and then from Dr. Jart, I had the Clearing Solution Ultra Fine Microfiber Sheet Mask. This one was okay. Um, I don't think that I would repurchase it um, just for the fact that, I don't know. I know Dr. Jart is just really expensive and it was the Clearing Solution. There was something, gosh, I can't remember what it was about this one that I didn't like. I should have wrote that on here. But it was for um, blemishes, and I really think that you would have to use several of these to help with blemishes. Oh, I wish I remember what this was. There was something about this one, but I just don't remember what it was. But anyway, I didn't care for it, so I'm not going to repurchase that. Now these I would definitely repurchase, and this is from the brand Peach and Lily, and it's the Reset Button Soothe and Restore. And this is for calming down um, angry skin and just, you know, if you have irritated skin. And it looked like this here. I've had several of these throughout the year that I've used. And I have enjoyed using every single one that I've had. And I would definitely um, consider repurchasing these. Um, just really good to have in your um, sheet mask arsenal. Especially during the summer if you've been out in the wind and the sun. These are really good to have on hand for um, soothing the skin and these do have yes this these do have some menthol in them so if you are opposed to menthol you wouldn't like these but it was very soothing to some skin and also from peach and lily i have the good skin day the drench and nourish um, sheet mask i use two of those and these are very hydrating nourishing to the skin um, just a really good um, sheet mask to use. I like using this one of the morning um, as part of my AM um, skincare routine. I um, definitely like the essence on this one for that time of day and um, definitely will put this on my rebuy list. And then from a pew, I finished up all of the rest of my milk masks that I had. I enjoyed all of these, all of the milk masks. I had purchased these in a kit, I think last, was it last July during the Nordstrom anniversary sale? I, I wanna say that, but this one was the strawberry one and then the coconut one. I really liked the strawberry one. It smelled so good, it smelled wonderful. But um, all of the milk ones was wonderful. Of course, you know, milk with the lactic acid in it is wonderful for exfoliation. And then all of these had, you know, hydrating properties to them. And I just really enjoyed all of these and would definitely um, consider repurchasing those. And then from Patchology, I used up three of the um, milk peel mask and these were a five minute flash mask but i left these on for longer than the five minutes i probably left them on for about 15 20 minutes but um, i used these um, i used one a week for um, exfoliation and i did really much enjoy these and would definitely consider repurchasing these also these were really good for a quick exfoliation to the skin that was um, not irritating, but yet it was very effective. So I did enjoy using those from um, Patchology. Then from Claire's, I had the Midnight Blue Calming Sheet Mask. I used up three of these. And um, these I'm not going to repurchase. I just didn't really care for them. I didn't like the, the sheet mask itself. It was kind of a, a thick sheet mask. I don't know, there was just something about the feel of it, the texture of it that I just didn't really care for. And the solution of it, um, I just didn't really, I don't know, I just wasn't that impressed with it. Um, the sheet mask itself says it's a bamboo charcoal sheet. And I know from experience, anything that has charcoal, I don't, I don't like. So that's probably why I didn't like these. So I'm not gonna repurchase these. Not that it was a bad product, it just didn't work for me. So 
not going to repurchase those and that was the last of these that were in my stash then I had another one from Secret Nature, the Moisturizing Rose Mask Sheet. This was okay. I'm pretty sure I found this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It smelled good, but it was just an okay mask. I'm not going to be repurchasing that. And then from Nature, I finished, I had another Ginseng mask. Wonderful mask. Highly recommend the Ginseng, especially from Nature. Naster, this is a good one. Um, definitely you get some really good ginseng benefits in this one. It has some really good ginseng in it. And you can definitely smell the ginseng in this. Um, smell like dirt. <laughs> Even now it smells like dirt. So I um, definitely recommend that. And then from Naster, I also finished the EGF, which is the Epidermal Growth Factor Mask Pack. I um, recommend that one also from Naster the Pearl Mask Pack. Had one of those. Again, recommend that. And that is improves your skin's condition and tone. I like a pearl mask. And then also from Naster, I finished my tea tree mask and I had five of those that I had in my collection. And I did finish those. Tea tree is wonderful to have in your mask collection for when you have irritated skin, if you've got a breakout, um, just really good to have in your, like I said, in your skincare sheet mask um, collection because tea tree is um, very good for healing and it's just really good to calm and soothe your skin and I did enjoy using those. And then from Dream Age, I had two of the Radiance Facial Mask in Rose by Dr. Dream and um, enjoyed using these and would definitely um, think about repurchasing these. And this is for whitening, which is brightening and anti-wrinkle. And I'm pretty sure I purchased these off of either Wish Trend or Soko Glam, one of those two websites. And then from Origins, I found another one of these um, fusion sheet masks. This one was the orange. I don't recommend these. These are not good. So if you see these like at Nordstrom Rack or on Hope Look or somewhere like that, um, I don't recommend them. They're not that good. Um, kind of bypass those. And then the last one that I have is from Claire's, and this is the Rich Moist Soothing Sheet Mask. And this one I do recommend. This is a really good hydrating mask. Um, it does exactly what it says it is going to do here on the pack, which is moisturizing, soothing. Um, it balances your pH, um, nourishes, and it's 100% cotton sheet. It's just a really good, just an overall rounded out good sheet mask that's really good to use at night and that's what I used this one at was at night and just very much enjoy using the Claire's and we'll definitely be repurchasing some of those. So that is it for my sheet mask that I use for the month of June and I am well on my way of using my sheet mask for the month of July. I again am going to set my goal at using a sheet mask every single day for the month of July and if I can stick with that goal then that will put me at um, using up my stash of sheet mask and which has been my goal to do that and if you're wondering why I'm doing that it's not because um, the reason why I'm doing it is because a lot of my sheet masks that I have in my collection I've had for quite some time and they are either expired or they're getting ready to expire so I want to really just focus on using them and <clears throat> taking them out of my collection and that's why I'm really um, working on using them up and not purchasing any new sheet mask and because I've had them for a lot of these I've had for probably over a year maybe even two years and that's why I really want to focus on um, using them up before they just completely go bad and that's a complete waste of money so that's why I'm really working on using them up and taking them out of my collection so yeah, I can buy some fresh new sheet masks, but when I start purchasing new sheet masks, I'm not going to do what I did 
when I started purchasing these sheet masks, which was buying every single sheet mask that I seen, like at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Walmart, you know, wherever I seen them at. Um, now I'm a little bit more versed in um, the sheet mask world, and I kind of know which ones I like, what brand I like, what brands, and I'm going to be a little bit more selective on what I purchase and the amount that I purchase. I'm just going to purchase just a few at a time, use those, and then purchase again. Not going to get 200 <laughs> built up at once, which is pretty much what I had. I had probably about 250 sheet masks in my collection that um, I needed to work through before I started purchasing more. So that is why at the beginning of the year, I really um, set out to work through my stash of sheet mask and really work on, you know, using some, you know, every single day, sometimes twice a day, just so that I can get through them before they go bad. But anyway, that's why I have set out on this quest to use up my sheet mask. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon.